now at 10. And tonight at 10, another bomb threat at a tri-state Kroger today, forcing employees and customers outside. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Williams. Trisha is off tonight. Now, there were six threats over the weekend. I'm sure you remember them. Oakley, North College Hill, Bellevue, Newport, Cold Spring, and Erlanger. That was over the weekend. The most recent one was at the Coryville Kroger near the University of Cincinnati campus. And that's where we catch up with our Chancellor Wynn, who spoke with shoppers. Yeah, Rob, as you can see behind me right now, the parking lot is pretty much back to normal now. That's because officers have cleared the threat here, determined it is safe for shoppers to continue inside as well as employees. But this marks the seventh Kroger store in the northern Kentucky and greater Cincinnati area that has received a bomb threat. Now, again, all of these bomb threats have been deemed hoaxes and there has been no credible threat. But still, some customers say they're on guard and a little bit on edge when they enter shopping for Kroger activities. You can't do that. That's just wrong. I was really scared. I was going to get some ice and they had everybody standing out. This is how some Kroger customers are reacting following a bomb threat on Wednesday evening that caused the Kroger in Coryville to be evacuated. It's just concerning. You know, you have families just trying to get groceries and I don't know what kind of person would want to hoax a bomb threat here at this Kroger, but you know, you worry about mass shootings, bomb threats these days. So it's not going to stop me from getting groceries, though, that's for sure. Some mothers, like Danielle Wagner, say they're a bit more on guard now when running simple errands. It makes me a little nervous uh, just knowing that you can't come out just to go shopping and, you know, for your family, pick up a prescription or just grab some food without worrying about the safety of you and your kids. The Coryville Kroger is the seventh Kroger store in the tri-state to receive a bomb threat in the last five days. On Wednesday night, a Kroger spokesman gave Fox 19 Now this quote, which reads, we are disheartened by the continued violent threats against our customers and associates. One of our core values is safety, and we remain committed to protecting our customers and associates from injury with a safe and secure workplace and a shopping environment. Our stores are safe. We are grateful to our law enforcement partners at the local, state, and federal level for their swift action to investigate these threats that have taken place not only at our stores, but at many retailers across the country. It is a really bad serious situation because you, you you keep doing that and they're going to find who's doing this. The FBI is investigating the bomb threats at the Kroger stores. On Monday, June 12th, the FBI released this statement following the sixth threat, which reads, quote, the FBI is aware of the numerous hoax bomb threat incidents wherein reports of explosive devices at a area business were made. The FBI takes these incidents very seriously because they put innocent people at risk. Investigating hoax bomb threats drains law enforcement resources and diverts them from responding to an actual crisis. While we have no information to indicate a specific and credible threat, we will continue to work with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners to gather, share, and act upon threat information as it comes to our attention. We urge the public to remain vigilant and immediately report any suspicious activity or individuals to law enforcement. Take extra precautions, Causes. you know. I don't want to, you know, because, I mean, it could be real. Never know. Now, as you heard, that statement from the FBI was given on Monday following the sixth Kroger threat. We did reach out to the FBI this evening, but I've yet to hear back. And if you know any information about any of the bomb threats at the seven different Kroger stores, reach out to police. Reporting live in Coryville, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thank you very much.